Miami won the toss. They defer. Todd Seavers has got it teed up. And Penn State's got Larry Johnson and Eric McCool back deep. In front of almost 107,000 people. We're set for football. Miami comes in with the number two ranking in the country in the second longest winning streak. And as Bob said, Penn State trying to make amends for only a five-win campaign last year. Here we go. Larry Johnson right on the goal line. Johnson across the 15. Got to the 20. Crowd momentarily comes to a hush after using a lot of energy in the first 10 minutes before the kick. Seneca in trouble on the first snap. Going to get something out of this, though. Got a block. Got Pollard out of bounds after he picked up. And here's the big ones up front. Felder, Ransom, Iorio, Linda, and Matt Schmidt, who's played both left tackle and right tackle and center. He's probably the best one they've got up there. Nick Blosser, a former walkout, is the fullback. Omar Easy will start the game. We'll see a lot of Johnson and McCoo. Drummond and Johnson, the wideouts, and John Gilmore is a big tight end. Straight up the middle they go. Sean McHughes. Here's the front line defensively, and it's a good one. McDougal, Joseph, Walters, and Williams. The linebacking core, as you might guess, for Miami, fast as always. Williams, Vilma, and Chris Campbell. And the secondary might be the best in college football. Buchanan and Rump on the corners. Lewis and Reed are the safeties. The first down, Penn State. Johnson in motion across the field. Here comes Omar. Easy. Making it look that way. Across the 45. Picked up a first down across the 46-yard line. Here Blitz. comes the blitz. Seneca stands in and now flushes out of there. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage from the 46. Just underway, opening drive for Penn State. And again, they'll go straight up the middle with a fullback. And it's Sean McHugh. Third down and eight. And Seneca from the gun with three wideouts. Pressure coming. And he's hit as he throws. And there's filled that role sometimes last year, but Jones a good return man as well. High kick, short. Jones trying to clear everybody out of there. It takes a Miami bounce, and it's down by Penn State at about the 32-yard line. Clinton Portis, the tailback in the eye. Play action for Dorsey. Plenty of time, and there it is. First completion out to Daryl Jones. And this list is about as good as you get to. Gonzalez and McKinney, both going to be number one picks. Romberg. Haji Rizzuli and Bilba up front. Najee Davenport's a huge fullback. Portis the tail. Shockey's a big tight end. Jones and Johnson are the wide receivers. Jones already with a catch. And there's Bryant McKinney, all 6'9", 335 pounds of him. Portis crosses midfield into Penn State territory. Jones, Adams, Kennedy, and Haynes up front. Jimmy Kennedy is a load at that tackle spot. Ben Fatty, Finney, and Wake, the linebackers. And on the corners, Scott and Branch, Crenshaw, and Israel are the safeties. Second down, seven. Jones in motion. And it's Portis, and he's got a big opening off the left side, and he's got great speed. Inside the 30, down the sideline. They get him at about the 11-yard line. On a first and 10 at the Penn State 15-yard line. It's Portis again. Nice cut to pick up four. He said, we're not going to win the tunnel, but maybe we'll win the football game. Second down and six. Portis, they just keep working that left side behind that big Haas McKinney, and this time Penn State does a nice job of it. Holding on the offense, 10-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. Repeat second down. Back at the 21. Dorsey, quick drop, three-step throw, high. McKinney Dorsey. They're going to keep it on the ground. Portis looking for a place to run, but nowhere to hide. Boy, he's collared out there. 16 last year. Gonna try a 35-yarder. So Miami gets something out of the drive. The penalty hurt him, but they still end up with three. With 9.30 to go first quarter. Kane's on the board, the number two team in the country with a field goal. New seats, 60 new suites. And the field we were on last night, it was just gorgeous. Yep. Kick goes again. Larry Johnson, two yards deep, and he'll bring it again. Johnson weaves his way through the middle. Got a kicker to beat and did. Across the 40. Johnson down the sideline. Going to be knocked out, but it's going to be about a 75-yard return. Philip 
Buchanan saved a touchdown. And 69 yards officially down to the 31-yard line. Seneca, plenty of time. Going to the end zone. Johnson tipped away. What a great play. He just took his eye off it for a moment. Enough to force a second and ten. Here they come. Blitz coming. Oh, and a fumble. Loose ball. Miami's got it. Miami is a very aggressive defense. James Lewis with the fumble recovery. And whistles. Penalty markers down. Prior to the snap. Ball start. Offense. Side guard penalty. No first down. The throw out to the tight end. Across the 45 to the 46, Jeremy Shockey just inside the 46 for Miami. And motion, Najee Davenport again came out of his stance. He All starts, offense, five yard penalty, remains second down. Second down and 11. Three wideouts now for Dorsey. Plenty of time. He goes across the midfield stripe again to Shockey at the Penn State. 48-yard line. Play action. Dorsey. Deep middle. Shockey in out of his hands. Second down at 10. Back to the ground of Portis. Portis got a nice block off that side. Here he goes again. Clinton Portis all the way to the 27-yard line. Put up a school record in points. They're looking for more here. All day to throw. Dorsey. Touchdown. That is picked. Ethnic Sands, he did. He had two guys out there, and it's a 27-yard touchdown. He had his pick. And for the point after. Good-looking drive by the Canes. It was 7 minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the first quarter. They're in the end zone for the first time this year, courtesy of Dorsey to Sands. 27 yards. It's 10-0 Miami. time he touched it they kick it to him again but this time it's got more leg on it bounces out of the back of the end zone 128 total yards already Penn State look out they get to the quarterback Mac Tenica goes down it's Andrew Williams second down at 20 back inside his own 10 a little, a little quick opening draw and it opens up pretty well for Omar Easy and talking to the team doctor right now and trying to shake his hand. But in the meantime, here comes left-hander Zach Mills, a redshirt freshman, never taken a snap. And we were told that they were going to get him in the game somewhere along the line here. Probably we're planning on it this way. Right, right. And here's his first attempt to pass. He won't get an attempt to pass. As David Royer now will have to punt. Daryl Jones takes a fair catch just about at the midfield stripe. So get online and vote. And we'll have results later in the game. Down the middle, Shockey the tight end. Boy, it's nice to have a target that big, that fast. 5 10 left first quarter. 10 0 Canes looking to add to it. Portis with a big night already in that left side. I am telling you. Portis, again, they work behind that same group, and it's a first down. He's from Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. Flags on the play. Five years. Dorsey, handoff, draw play to Portis. Portis weaving his way again, then puts his head down and plows to about the 12-yard line. After the play was over, personal foul on the offense. 15-yard penalty from the end of the play. The second down. They're backed up to the 28-yard line. Again, the quick opener. Portis is one busy back. And the Hurricanes of Miami. Third down at 13. Dorsey, the drop over the middle, incomplete. Overshot his intended receiver, Daryl Jones. 42 yarder for Todd Severs. He's got one tonight from 35, and he's got one from 42. It's good. So the Canes tack on three more. An inch further in front. 13 0 Miami. When you told me that, I said, We are in football season, I guess. The kick. Larry Johnson, three yards deep. He says, you know what? I've got a chance on the last one. We'll try it again. But he only gets out to the 19-yard line. The redshirt freshman now running the show. 
Omar easy, easy into the secondary, not to the 31. With a quarterback who hasn't thrown a pass yet. And easy off the right side. Whew. Stood up by somebody. He just plowed him over. Jonathan Vilma held on for dear life. Omar with a good per carry average so far. This time up the middle again and again he's taking would be tacklers with him. He's close to a first down. Easy. Dragged down from behind by Andrew Williams. That shows you the speed of those defensive linemen and Williams is having a huge first quarter. To punt again. Daryl Jones waits on the other end. Better kick this time. Jones camps under it at the 16. Got a block, got the corner, and then cut down. Nice open field tackle down there. All three possessions. Dorsey. Oh, what a block. And he throws a strike. And it's a first down. But let's hope that that Penn State player is not injured because he did a complete cartwheel. Derek Wake came on a blitz. Left side of your screen. McGahee. McGahee. Oh. Wow. And knee really banged the turf pretty hard. As Dorsey pump fakes one way and throws a shot down the middle. Complete down to the 25-yard line to Andre Johnson. At the end of the first quarter, it's the Miami Hurricanes leading the Nittany Lions of Penn State by 13. ABC Sports presentation of college football will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. <laughs> oh, boy. At the 24-yard line, Miami with a first down. Here comes a blitz, the give. Inside to McGahee on a second and nine. And now he's changing things up. On the ground. McGahee. Ground picking up. First team defensive line back in there now, but Dorsey still had enough time to throw incomplete. Miami trying to tack on three more 37 yard field goal attempt receivers. He's hit from 35 and 42. And he hit the upright. He's living right. Goes in. So Seavers with three field goals already laughing about that one as he kissed the right upright skipped it through and the Canes go further in front 13 39 to go in a half Miami by 16. Seavers field goals wrapped around a touchdown and they lead 16 to nothing. Here's a high short kick trying to keep it away from Larry Johnson diving catch from the 28 yard line. There's his first pass, and it wasn't too pretty. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot. Boy, that smile <laughs> it was remarkable. As has his recovery been. Still a long way to go for the other day. That's an inspiration for anybody, whether you've had troubles like that or not, I'm telling you. Bill's going deep. Incomplete double coverage out there. I'm sure Adam is going to be involved with that type of thing also. Here's a punt. And taken. No fair catch call. Kind of a... Gutty move by Daryl Jones. Uh, center down in Atlanta, and uh, we'll take this book and uh, give it to him from Adam. Danny, if you're watching, uh, who knows what this game might be? Because 233 yards already for the Canes, and here's about four more. First and ten here for Miami, right at the midfield strike, leading by 16. Dorsey down the middle again. He goes in. Inside the 30 is Andre Johnson. Sands is the guy that has a touchdown catch. He's back in there now in motion. Play action. Dorsey wide open is Davenport. And he's going to score. Touchdown Canes. Nobody home on the backside. A 28-yard touchdown pass. That's just good execution. Good play calling. Good execution by the Hurricanes. Seavers extra point. Makes it 23 to nothing, Miami. Dorsey with two touchdown passes now. The last one to his fullback. And the number two Canes are looking all of that number two ranking right now. Johnson had the biggest play of the night for Penn State, a 69 yard kick return. And a little indecision. McCoo takes this one at the one. Got across the 20 out to about the 22 yard line. Matt Senek is back in at quarterback. And again, they'll do the option, but the option is the fullback, Sean McHugh. And he nice job filling in for him last year, too, when there were some injury problems. Harrington's the best quarterback we haven't heard about. 
And that pass incomplete. Third down and eight. Penn State hoping to get theirs on track here. Seneca under pressure. That's not going to help the elbow. Jamal Green got him from the backside. Second sack to punt this time near his own goal line. See if Miami puts some heat on it. They do up the middle and they got close. Jones from the 46. And dances his way across the 50 and then gives up some ground. Had three touchdown passes that first time. <laughs> Dorsey's got a man open. Undershot him because he took a hit. Number two team in the country. McGahee across the 45. Didn't seem to be doing very well. Larry Coker said we maybe know our players better than we know each other. Here's McGahee on a third and five, and they still haven't picked up a third down. Punt's going to go out of bounds. Natural, normal offense. Here's a counter to McCoo. And McCoo jumps through a hole and got about eight or nine. Nine on that first carry. So second down, a long yard. They'll give it to him again. He's going to have to fight for this one. And they are down 23. Option. There's the pitch to McCoo. And I don't know. Might have gotten there. Paul Jefferson, he's in front of McCoo. And here's the toss to Eric. Trying the left side. Miami just so fast when you run. Against Miami's defense running those kinds of plays. That's what they did with McCoo two plays ago on a counter. And now here's Seneca and he got hit as he tried to throw again. And that elbow's not going to get any better. I'll tell you. Penn State's quarterbacks are a combined 0 for 6 throwing the football. Here's that counter that Swanee was talking about. He did get good yardage, but McCoo lost his footing. Jones camps under it. Late fair catch call for him. Maybe touch it or not. Flags down. Penn State says they have it. They might get it. I thought he touched it, but I'm not positive. I think the flag is a, 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 a late. Oh. Just inside its own 43 yard line. Here's Portis back in the lineup. Boy, he get nailed by Anthony Adams. Here's thrown two touchdown passes so far in the first half. Play action goes complete across the 45 to his tight end again. And especially that front line that's given Dorsey so much time to throw tonight. Third and seven. Again, nobody around him. He picks his poison and goes right back to his tight end first down. To check. At the 42, another first down. Portis broke one tackle, puts a nice move on flags flying all over the place. Illegal block in the back if you're a good lip reader. 3.05 left in the half. And all Miami tonight. The penalties really their only downfall so far. Portis on a little quick opening draw. And he puts a nice move on. Broken tackle. Down the sideline is Portis. Big collision at the 18-yard line. But Miami has the whole package. They sure look like it right now. Here's McGay here who took his spot. And he almost opened it up all the way tonight. Both their touchdowns came from outside of... 20 yards. Nice play fake by Dorsey. Wide open and shocky. One man to beat. Got there. Touchdown. But his favorite target, his biggest target, he just hit him for a 10 yard score. Yep. And he does. So the worst. Nightmare that uh, Penn State could have imagined. Four men. You know, just, just the changes in the coaching staff. The big chain, big uh, question marks. Seavers kick. Larry Johnson a couple yards deep will bring it out again. Johnson cuts outside. He's got another nice return. Throws a stiff arm out there and got across the 25. And Penn State trying to muster any kind of offense they can here before halftime. Seneca with a bad elbow trying to throw. Running for his life. And side arms at incomplete. Second down at 10 for Penn State. Seneca from the shotgun. Matt steps up, has some time. Now he pulls it down and gets what he can. Oh, I mean, he got a headache out of it, but he's still standing, and the guy that hit him is the one that went down. Third down at six. Easy in motion out of that backfield. Seneca. There he completed the pass, but it only got about a yard. Not a good sign. That's not good. That's not good. I don't like that. 
<laughs> Here's the punt again. And Jones takes it on the run. No, it's Buchanan, rather. And he broke a tackle, and he weaves around. Now there's going to be a flag thrown. One completed pass by Penn State in this half. And back to the ground game goes Clinton Portis, who's had a way back into the 80s. Dorsey's going deep. He's got a man open. He's out there, and he's got it. Intercepted. And intercepted. Bruce Branch picks it off. Beard had a shot at it, and Branch is coming the other way. Branch down the sideline. And the Nittany Lions have it with 18 seconds. On Kenny Dorsey's record that, as Bob said, shouldn't belong there. Seneca to throw. Fires, one hops it, intended for Brian Johnson. He's yet to complete a pass in his college career. 0 for 2 tonight. Looking to throw here. In trouble. And floats one out and got it to Johnson complete. Johnson with a stiff arm inside the 35 with four seconds left. Johnson Drummond. And Tony Johnson all of the near side as Zach Mills drops on the final play of the half. Going to lay one up there. Lazy pass. Brian Johnson's the closest, but it's intercepted by Miami. James Lewis. Good first half indeed as it's 30 to nothing for the number two team in the country on the road. Looking good. We'll be joining John Saunders and Terry Bodden at Times Square Stadium in New York for the Babylon Halftime Show right after this. He can run the football well. He says the problem is in the pass protection. We've got to protect and give Seneca a chance to move the ball down the field in the air. Brett. That'll be a tough one for him to do the way it went in the first half. Here's the return of the kick. Andre Johnson, and the only real blemish on his first half stats was that goofy interception we just saw. Here's Portis. Nice little delay and then skips outside. Got the corner again. Across the 40 and out to the 43 yard line. Another 18 yard gain. A lot of running backs. A lot of weapons. Career high night already for Portis. 154 yards. Opening drive looks good so far. To the 46 yard line. Dorsey again all day to throw and completes it. First down, Andre Johnson. And Johnson down to the 44 yard line. On the road early in the season to Washington last year. Huge difference, and we saw that only blemish on their record last year as a starter for Kenny Dorsey. And Shockey came out of a stance. It looked like the tight end on the left side. Somebody fired off a little bit early. Prior to the snap, false start, offense, five-yard penalty, remain second down. Debut after taking over from Michael Vick. So you know Virginia Tech's going to apparently be good on offense again. Here comes Clinton Portis. And penalty markers down. Holding on the offense, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat second down. They're all alone in space. And they can get the caught real easy. Second and 16. Third and 16. Dorsey fires out. It'll be well short of the first down, Andre Johnson. Capshaw put the first one out inside the 15. This one he kicks straight away. Bruce Branch. On the return, maybe got about four. Not good. Not good. Zach Mills, at quarterback. Here's a counter. And an opening for Omar Easy. And Mills. Better pass. Better result. Got it to the same guy got the other one. And Gander will like that one. There's going to be a lot of bright spots in the film room. He'll try going deep sideline this time. And out of bounds. Second down and 10 at midfield. Here comes a blitz, and it pays off. Run him into Omar Easy for a loss 15 yards away at the 45. Mills in trouble again. Whoops. Down he goes. William Joseph. Feel the pressure when it's coming, but he didn't have a chance there. Royer's punt, high hanger. And Miami just trying to get out of the way of this one as it's going to take a Penn State bounce. Rolled dead at about the 24, just inside the 25. And everybody expected from him this year after his brilliant season last year. And he's back to throw again. He's got a man open. Got him inside the 50. Off to the races goes Kevin Beard. Didn't drop that one, did he? Nope. Down to the 28-yard line. Back to the ground. And Portis and Portis with a big opening again. Clinton Portis. Touchdown. Penalty markers down, but Portis just rips off 
what would be a 28-yard touchdown run unless it's coming back. During the play, we had two holdings on Miami. After the play was over, <laughs> unsportsmanlike conduct on Miami. A hold. You can't do that. First down and 34 now. And McGay, he might make a big bunch of that up right here. <laughs> Second down, 19 now. And they're going to go the same play the other way. And McGay, he can't keep his footing up in New York on that building last week. <laughs> Here's Dorsey. And he goes down to the tight end, Jockey. Another first down throw down. That's his seventh reception for 84 yards for a tight end. Those are pretty big numbers. Dorsey with a first down to work. Back to the ground, McGahee, almost five, seventh play of the Hurricanes march here. Dorsey, quick slant, got it. Down to the two, first and goal, Kevin Beer. That, that game was the, 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 the bottom of his career there. Here's McGahee off the right side, bouncing his way, lost the football. Penn State's got it. Ryan Scott comes up with a loose ball. Just when they needed a big play, Penn State's defense got one. Their offense just can't get anything going. Second down now, 12. A loss on the play at two. Mills comes up firing. Got it. Out to cross the 15. They got the big guys in there. Glosser and Omar Easy. They're going to throw for it. Mills across the middle. A surprise. And a first down and quite a bit more. And it's Gilmore again. Larry Johnson in the backfield now. He got the handoff. And fighting his way, strong guy. He got about six yards. Is that field up there? Is it brown? <laughs> oh, no. They're tearing it up. I know that. Yes, they are. Here's Mills. The sideline. Caught. Bryant Johnson, a great grab. <laughs> Jenny, the other night was saying, don't miss time your jumps. Don't jump if you don't have to. He had to there, and he comes up with it, and they go right back to him. Incomplete. Second and ten. Mills from the shotgun. Zach's got a little bit of time. Now it's running out. And wisely got rid of that thing. Eight play of the Nittany Lion drive. See if they can get some points out of it. And it takes too much time. Prior to the snap, ball start, offense, five-yard penalty, remains third down. Third down, 15 now. Mills throws, intended for Bryant Johnson again. And front knocked it away, and it forces the fourth down, and Penn State's got to go for it. They have to try to get something happening. Fourth and 15, deep middle to the tight end, and it's broken up. And now they got this young pup. Only 346. Yeah. I think he might be a little bigger than that, actually. McGahee getting his time at tailback. What, what instrument do you think? You said played? flute the other day. I got a figure too, but I don't know. <laughs> Can you see him playing a flute? <laughs> Penalty markers probably going to have another hole. There were two penalties on the play. Holding on the offense has been declined. Illegal block below the waist on the offense has been accepted. 15-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. He doesn't throw like Bernie does. But he moves around a lot. He there. does move a little bit. Yeah, that's right. And again, they get that yardage from the penalty right back. Pretty much over. And here's McGahee again. Well, the Canes knew where to recruit. And he gets the call right on cue. With his father looking after him. Oof, man. That gives you chills, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. There's the pass out to him. And he's got a first down, or very close to it. Lighten it up a little bit. Get everybody know each other a little bit better, and I think that's a great idea. Yes, it is. Here's McGahee again off that right side. Nice open field stop over there. Sean Mayer into three. It is 30 to nothing. Second rank Miami. ABC Sports presentation of college football will continue after this message and a word from our ABC stations. And works with the secondary. He's at practice every day. Twice a day, he's in working out, trying to get better physically. As Dorsey zips another one right down to a first and goal for Dorsey. Ethnic Sands would have to move back from the wide receiver. And whistles. It was a completion that was, was not. 
Delay of game, offense, five yard penalty, remains first down. First down, back down to the 18 yard line. Dorsey pumps once and then throws, did get rid of it to Peyton. And Jarrett, nice stiff arm, cuts inside the 10, back to the nine yard line, second and goal. Penn State was late getting an extra body out there. McGahee, tough couple yards the whole game. And uh, still, the 30 snaps he gives him, gives him uh, usually quality. Third down at six. And nice job, Jones again. I just, this is the shortest one he'll attempt from 23. And he's still perfect. Four for four for Seavers. So the first points of the second half come much as the first points of the first half came off the foot of Todd Seavers. 12-22 remaining in the ball game. All Miami, 33 to nothing. The football game in this part of the country. I think it gets anywhere. Isn't it? That's uh, more than did Michigan. Did they say that was more than Michigan? They I, made an announcement. Yeah, I, I don't know if they did say that. And bringing out of the end zone, Larry Johnson. Penalty markers down. Kenny's only about a foot taller than Adam <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, he is. They look like Mutt and Jeff when yeah. they're side by side. <laughs> Here's a run by McCoo. Eric finds him open field. Still on his feet out to the 30-yard line. Well, they've actually only had three quarterbacks in the history of the school. And I said earlier, they play as the tight end Gilmore. They played football here 115 years. Only trying to get something going here. And they're going to do it on the ground one way or another. Third down and inches here. And straight ahead they go with Sean McHugh and some years Penn State team. But hey, this is still Happy Valley and not too many people come in here and push people around like they are right now. 33 to nothing. Zach Mills scrambling and trying to buy some time and he somehow it wasn't much prettier. Now he's calming down a little bit. And he's going to throw fade over here and Brian Johnson's got it. That's more like it. Point after. He's been waiting all night to get a kick, and he hit it right down the middle. So the Nittany Lions finally on the board. It took them till 9.51 remained in the ball game, but a touchdown pass has their first seven of the year. They've lost 11. Get back to that in a minute. Buchanan from the goal line on the kick. And out of bounds at about the five. Comes in with a luxury of a big lead. Not the greatest field position they've had tonight, however. Frank Gore is in the backfield, the guy that Bob's talking about. And kind of an unceremonious handoff. And then uh, Nate Hibble got on track, and you could see him mature in that uh, ball game that we had earlier today on ABC. For a quarterback to come around and play well. Third and seven. They'll keep it on the ground, and Gore got out to the 20. <laughs> under eight minutes to play. Capshaw's kick. Takes a bounce and he has to let it go. Miami will wait for it to roll dead way down at the 22 yard line. George Nellenberger, mm -hmm. who stayed five years, so. Pass complete. Broken tackle by John Gilmore, the tight end. Gilmore shoves off another blocker and then takes about three Hurricanes with him. Yeah, yeah he lost to get it 31 back up. scholarships. Yeah, he did. Here's a pass. That one tipped a little bit. Mills from the shotgun. Plenty of time to throw this time. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. Whew. Mm. Couple good ones, John. Thanks for keeping us posted. Mills throws outside incomplete. <laughs> Kevin Beard waiting on the punt. And it's a good one. Hangs high. He's got a call for a fair catch. And maybe should have let that one go, but he fantastic job. This is my first my first time here uh, tonight for the game, and I'm quite impressed. I think I've only just done it once myself. I've asked to be on there, and and they allowed me on there. Uh, but uh, I have in some improvement in the in the second half. Uh, I'm saying in the second half we're winning it, uh, seven to three. Uh, <laughs> so uh, so that is a little uh, of a team together, you know, just for a pickup game probably. Franco Harris uh, 
one of the great running backs here, of course, in years past, and then an all pro career with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Eddie Drummond going to go down. Zach Mills had to come in when Matt Seneca injured his elbow. And he's gotten a little bit better with each series. And discipline say, hey, we, we can have fun, but we can't have silly penalties because that's going to get to you. Mills, nice ball, Brian Johnson. Nice catch, too. A touchdown. And Prior to the snap, ball start, offense, five yard penalty, remains first down. Coached offensively at Oklahoma State, had some. Pretty good players there named Barry Sanders and Thurman Thomas. So yes. He's worked with some good ones. And Zach goes down. Fourth sack of the night for the Canes. His jersey. <laughs> <laughs> he's quick as a cat, though. And here's Omar Easy. And Omar's got it back. And plenty of time for Mills, and Easy's got it and on the other end. Most people that have been around him and what he's been through know that uh, his calling is for much more than football. It's, he's going to have a bigger impact on uh, things in the world than he would have as a Haynes. Zach again sets and fires. Intercepted. There's a mistake. Hung that one too good. You can't do it with guys like Edward Reed back there. There, but 53 years old. He's waited for a long time. But... And taking a knee. That'll end the ball game. So Miami ranked number two in the country, and they look like the number two team in the country right here. Penn State goes to 0-1. Larry Coker gets his first win ever. 33-7 is the final as the two coaches will shake hands. They've never officially met until right now. And you know Joe is very happy for him despite the fact his team comes up short.